turn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just yet? Yeah. Mm. What happened to your hat? The thing in the hat. The thing in the hat or the, uh, or the one I brought. Okay, the thing in the hat we're going to drink. <clears throat> Merry Fishmas. Merry Fishmas. Right. It's herring flavored. Oh, oh, right on. on. Sweet. You know what they say to the thing? Hey there, beer tubers! Welcome back to another episode of Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Tonight with Heist Almighty, the Fuzz Sith. I'm gonna take a look at a beer that I've been hiding from Sith because it's a special surprise. Wait, and wait! You're gonna hide from me too because I have no sweet clue what's going on. Well, this is a beer that was given to me for Christmas from Heist Almighty. I'm gonna look at Brooklyn Brewery's Black Chocolate Stout, oh, an Imperial Stout from New York. Or Brooklyn, or wherever he it is. He complains, and I ooh. <laughs> yeah, this is the like, Imperial it, Stout I was going to torture the fuzz with. But look, it sounds like black oil. Yep. <clears> well, <throat> really, it's going to be like tar. Oh <laughs> man, it's going to be like chocolate oh. Guinness. Limited bottling, winter 20, uh, 12, 13. Uh, in the last century, British brewers made strong stouts for the, czar the Czar's court. They were called Imperial Stouts. Our black chocolate stout brewed once yearly for the winter season. Achieves a chocolate aroma and flavor through the uh, artful blending of six varieties of black chocolate and roasted malts. Ten percent ABV. Ten percent, guys. That's almost as strong as what you've had earlier. The rum? <laughs> Not quite as strong as the shot. <coughs> nice Brooklyn Brewery cap. So thank you, High School Mate, for uh, donating this bottle. Thanks, sir. And now you get the drink part of it. Did you, you go down? You showed up unannounced. Yeah. You went down to Brooklyn. Straight from Brooklyn. Ah, oh, it looks like a wine. A red wine. Oh no, that just it's looks like black oh, chocolate. Uh, looks that, like tar. That looks like chocolate. Just give me a little taste. I got a bottle at home. Sure. I can smell it from here, and I'm like <laughs> sitting way back. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be epic. I think. It's gonna be horrible. This looks so tasty. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, that, oh and the drink. <laughs> well, I'd probably not have any drink. Oh, that's probably filtered, right? Well, I have no idea. Bit. Maybe, maybe not. They uh, some kind of, of random. Some of the last Some, I some of the stouts are not. <laughs> um, very black motor oil color. Oh, Holy wow. cow. That's like spent motor oil. <laughs> wow. With a nice, very sticky, sticky very sticky, dark, like uh, like a malt tan head, like a chocolate tan head. Yeah, I'm not, not going to be able to pee this out for a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to stick to my liver. But at least you'll have your oil changed. <sighs> This note that eats like a meal. <laughs> no, I already good. had supper! <laughs> oh, wow. That is a very gorgeous looking imperial stout. Holy cow, it smells good too. Actually, it doesn't smell too bad. It smells pretty delicious. It smells That's, like. It doesn't smell oh, too bad. It, it's, it's light, but yeah, chocolate coffee. It smells mm -hmm. like baker's chocolate and, and uh, a little bit of like a coffee roasted malt to it. A little bit of high quality booze in this one too. Mm -hmm. Kind of got a barley a wine kind of boozeiness to it. Mm -hmm. Kind of almost gives it almost like a cherry smell. A little bit. Um, Cherry chocolate coffee stout. When, mm. when you get up past a dust percent, you're gonna start smelling the, the booze. Sometimes you don't, but it's a real it's a real feat to do it. A nice dusty chocolate kind of like a like a like a mm. chocolate bar kind of thing. Oh yeah, this is gonna be like syrup. Nice. So down the hatch. Buzz. Down the hatch. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Waste. Oh nice. Not as bad as I thought. Nice. Well, there's your answer, folks. He says it's not bad. No, 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 no. Not as bad as I thought. You know, there's a poll going on right now on my Facebook page. <laughs> Is there really? Yeah. See how you'd react. <laughs> it actually, it's actually quite smooth. I, it's very, yeah, smooth. very smooth. For as heavy as it should be. Big, thick other, chocolate. It's chocolate. like dark chocolate. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the very a the the mm -hmm. aftertaste just after it leaves your mouth. Yeah. But but I'm not a big fan of coffee either. Mm -hmm. And this has this has some undertones of coffee in it. Okay, lots of big beer. roasted malt note to the very yeah. back. Big roasted oh, malt, big dark chocolate, big coffee. A nice, a nice and not too thick, but thick big enough. Black. And that's what I like about it. It's not it's really not, that thick. It's big it's heavy and enough. you feel <laughs> there's a little bit of warming down the back of the throat too. But it's not a very <laughs> thick beer. Nope. I mean it's thick. It's an imperial stout, obviously, and it's a good one. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm out of the loop too. That's okay. We well, got it. I don't, I don't. That's what she said. No. Sure. Great. So, do you want to right. call this before we go to tape? Let's uh, let's take a break for a second with this one. Okay. All right. All right. We'll talk to you in a bit. And we're back with 
Brooklyn's Black Chocolate Stout, graciously donated by Ice Almighty. So, if you, what you could choose. So what do we think? What do you guys think? Oh, I like it. I like it too. What do you think, Buzzy? Ah, uh, it's okay. It's okay? <laughs> it's not poison? Not po it's not poison? Alright. What do you think, Seth? I actually enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it a four five. Four five? Wow! wow. I really liked it. I'm gonna have to concur. Wow! I was, um, I'm not going to go that high, I, I'm not sure if I really like it quite as much as like Propeller's Russian Imperial or like uh, Old Rasputin. I think uh, I like Russian Motel for that matter. I just, I'm, I'm, it's really good and it stands up there with them. I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to have gap. I don't know. It's maybe, I mean, this, this comes down to a matter of taste after a certain point. Mm. And, and I like my anything super strong to be really sweet. And I'd say this is definitely in in my preferences in the same league as, as Peche Mortel, but... Um, I didn't care for some of the uh, non-sweetened Russian Imperials quite as much as the sweetened ones. They were still really good, but mm. not not quite to my preference. I'm going to agree. I, I, I like having my uh, Russian Imperial Stouts to be just a tad sweeter, maybe a little syrupy. Yeah. And I think that's pretty one of the things that's holding me back, is that it's not quite as sweet or as syrupy as I wanted. But you know what? That's really me being spoiled at this point, because it's otherwise a fantastic beer. It really deserves a little more better, so... So I've been pretty nice to you guys lately. Yes, you have. Mm-hmm. And here I was. I was going to torture these guys tonight. Well, don't worry. I'll figure that. Mm -hmm. So, Buzz, number? Oh, yeah, you want my number? Yeah, what do you think? 2.75. 2.75. Well, we passed it. I, I yeah. figured you would have gone with a 3 on this one. I no. really thought you were giving this one a 3. No, it's too... To me, it was too... Too coffee. Like coffee. Ah, yeah. You don't like coffee, yeah. Like There's a lot of coffee for that. But I passed it. Not even, quite like... It regardless of it. Even with the coffee, you passed it. But yeah. Wasn't Peche Martel have coffee? I'll throw it well, it's, it's made with coffee. Yeah. It's also delicious. Mm -hmm. It's like Peche a beautiful cup of iced coffee. Hey. Mm. Nice taste. Available at Premier Wines and Spirits. Mm -hmm. Just in Rome, in Halifax. Same place this one's from. Mm. Cool. All right. All right. So I think that's about everything from Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Thanks for watching us crazies go review this beer. I'm not crazy. They haven't certified me yet. I thought your mother had it tested. Yeah, it was for herpes. I didn't have it. <laughs> Moving right along. I'm not drinking into your glass. Good night, folks. Talk to you later, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.